Good morning, Karina Haynes, uh, Planning Operations with uh, Southwest Incident Management Team 3 with your plan for today. So we have our repair group that has been working in the Mora Valley. We have completed a lot of work along the 434 corridor down uh, into Mora and then working in Mora proper to, to just get all of those tasks complete on the private land areas and with the homeowners to, to repair any of those fences and dozer lines and uh, materials that were cut off of those private, private properties so that we clean that up. And then we do have crews up in the Holman and Cleveland areas doing the same, same work. We've gotten a lot of good mechanical work done and then we're just really focusing on fencing and chipping. So um, over going to the north, we have uh, a small crew working out of Angel Fire and really what they're doing is, is repairing some of the road areas and some of the um, areas of fire traffic that we've had vehicles parked and those sorts of things over the last couple months. Also to the north, just straight north of this, um, this fire line, to the north on Highway 64, we have Forest Road 5 and, um, and we're looking at uh, improving some of those road systems as well to, to then take out the log decks once, the, once folks have their permits to do so. And then moving over into the Pot Creek area, it's been very wet and road conditions are not conducive to completing any grading or dozer work along that forest road. So we have been looking down at U.S. Hill and this Gallegos Peak Road and looking at opportunities that we can uh, take advantage of and, and um, get material out of the ditch that's maybe washed into the ditch after some fire activity and fire road work there. Um, as far as what the fire is doing, so we've had no growth in the north zone of the fire, which, which goes from the Ladue area all the way toward Guadalupeza and then to the east towards Gallegos, uh, and, then, um, and then east of Penasco, and then to the south towards Pyramid Peak. So there was some fire activity down in the Pecos drainage, which is this drainage down here uh, by Vallecitos, and um, a very small uh, amount of smoke seen yesterday that is on the south zone, so you'll hear more about that uh, with their update. But just wanted to let you know we're not having any fire activity of note within the north zone. We have had a couple of lightning strikes that have um, connected with trees and, and so we've been having crews respond to those as they pop up. And um, otherwise we've had no other issues as far as fire and that goes. We've had some issue with some flooding going over the 518 and, um, and we've been able to clear that as well as let the Department of Transportation know so that they can then um, you know, maintain their repairs as needed. But otherwise, you know, crews are working, um, especially on those fencing and chipping projects, and then really focusing on that road work. And that's what we're going to continue to do throughout the following week. Um, and then we do expect to have the Great Basin team that is working out of Pecos and Santa Fe and Las Vegas. They will, they will take over the north part of this fire um, starting Thursday this coming week. So we've been doing a lot of collaboration with them, a lot of meetings and talking, and, and just get, making sure that all the information is transferred and that the, the community members and their concerns are addressed and not lost or anything like that. So that is your update for the North Zone of the Calf Canyon Fire for today. Thank you.